From the book homework, this is number 17.37. It's asking us in a one liter solution that's saturated with calcium oxalate, calcium oxalate here, when you evaporate it, you get a certain amount of solid, and that's going to be solid calcium oxalate. So we can tell from the grams of solid that were available from the saturated solution how much of it did dissolve. So we want to find KSP and we know how much will dissolve in one liter. Right. So we can also tell from this relationship that it will be identical. The concentration of calcium ions would have been the same as the amount of calcium oxalate that dissolved and same for the oxalate ion. So that these two numbers are going to be the same. So we just need to figure out what that number is. And the concentration of calcium, which we said is going to equal the concentration of oxalate, is going to equal the amount that dissolved, which was 0 0.0061 grams of calcium oxalate. That's what we found in the dried residue that was in one liter of solution and we would have to multiply that by the fact that for every one mole of calcium oxalate there are 128.1 grams So I got the 128.1 grams by looking at the formula and using my periodic table to find what is the mass of one calcium, two carbons, and four oxygens. That turns into 128.1 grams, the molar mass of calcium oxalate. So now this whole thing equals 4.76 times 10 to the minus 5. And that's the moles that were in one liter. So that is the molarity. And I'd reduce that to 4.8 times 10 to the minus 5. Now we had already said these two concentrations are the same. So both of them are equal to this. So KSP is going to equal 4.8 times 10 to the minus 5 squared. And that equals 2.3 times 10 to the minus 9. And for KSP there are no units.